All right, good afternoon, YouTube. Home Theater Joe here, and as usual, I hope y'all are happy, healthy, and doing well. And I feel like it's been forever. Uh, since my birthday on the 25th, it's just been work, work, work. Um, I'm actually waiting on a uh, PI generator or some such. Uh, hopefully FedEx will bring that today. Um, going down the uh, color space rabbit hole. It is very exciting. Um, let me say that both um, Steve Shaw, I think, I don't have it open right now. I believe it's Steve Shaw, right? And uh, Ted from Display Calibrations and Steve from Light Illusion. Man, they've been uh, really helpful and, and, and really good. Uh, so, um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm about to... I get my hands on the full program. It's going to be awesome. Anyway, um, there's so much stuff we need to catch up on. I want to talk about some Black Friday stuff. Um, but really quickly, I want to cover um, the time I've had with the new Dolby Vision update for the C10. As you can see right now, I'm back in the, uh, in the bedroom, and I'm with the C1. But I'm actually going to be talking about the C10. So, Dolby Vision update. Listen, man, the comment section is alive. Actually, I think I'll start there. The comment section is alive, y'all. And uh, we're just getting all kinds of great reports. Um, great uh, people are, are sharing their experiences. And even more so to that point, they're sharing um, suggestions and fixes um, between each other. And it's Man, I love it. Uh, there's actually been uh, so much going on, it's really hard for me to keep up with. But, uh, you know, in my mind, if I had my way, you know, the community, our community, you know, it's, I mean, I, of course, I love it when people ask questions and I love to try and get to them and help. But, um, you know, I, I think the comment section, you know, could take care of itself and, and, that's what I, I always want to get across is information sharing. Guys, I don't have all the answers. I'm not always right, for sure. So I, I look at the comment section as its own entity. And um, man, it's just been a whole lot of good stuff going on uh, over there. So man, good on the community. Thank you all about that. Now, let me move into this Dolby Vision thing. Again, so many uh, report case scenarios or case usage scenarios coming out, you know, um, some a lot of good, you know, some some bad. I think there's been the uh you know, straggler here and there that the the new Dolby Vision update has not been uh good for. Having said that, I think the vast majority haven't had an issue, but we get things like, "Oh, hey, my black levels and blah blah blah." So, I really want to talk about this Dolby Vision gaming thing on your CX. I have an XSX. Um I enjoy it and I'll say now. Uh Post update, Call of Duty Warzone looks phenomenal. Um, I would say that the colors seem a little bit uh, more vivid, uh, deeper, right? Um, that's the only game I'm finding that in. Listen, I've been dipping back here to De Dead Space recently because um, I, I really want to do something on that, but... Um, uh, yeah, Dolby Vision Gaming, I, I'm not a fan, okay? So, guys, gals, anyone listening, Dolby Vision Gaming, it's not gonna, it's not a magic wand, I don't think. It's not, uh, it's not gonna make everything look glorious. When you have something that's mastered in, in you know, standard definition, and we're trying to force that metadata, or that data to become metadata, um, it's just, I don't think it's a great thing. Plus, I've uh, actually gotten a whole lot of great information from Tech uh, uh, Tech with KG and Classy Tech lately, man. Y'all got to get on, got to get over there and uh, check those boys out. Um, you know, uh, Sony's abandoning the alternative white point. Come on, let me get off of that. Um, yeah, there's no Dolby Vision games right now, y'all. So Dolby Vision is taking the HDR metadata that already exists and doing what to it? Making it Dolby Vision metadata? I mean, HDR gaming's been working really well for a while. It looks phenomenal on the XSX and C10 uh, combination. 
Uh, but I just don't think we should believe that Dolby Vision is the end-all, be-all. HDR gaming has been around and been implemented for a lot longer. So that brings me to auto HDR as well, y'all. If I'm playing Dead Space, I'm not engaging auto HDR. I am not engaging Dolby Vision gaming. I'm just not doing that, and it pleases my eye to do so. So because we can game in Dolby Vision and we have some of these new features, yada, yada, you know, just because we can doesn't mean we, sh we, we do or should do. Um, final point here. Uh, I realized over this time that I feel like I've been silent. feels like it's been a week or so. Man, I'm never going to be out in front of anything. <laughs> you know, so I think I should. That's a realization I had. Like, you're not going to pop on this video or something that I do or put out on YouTube and get some, you know, crazy information that nobody else has that I'm way out in front of. And I realized that. And I'm like, you know, I, I'm just reactionary. And at the moment, I'm stuck in LG C10 land. Sorry, honey. Do you? Um, you know, and um, I'm looking to expand my my solar system, so to, so to say, uh, with color space. You know, I don't want to be just stuck calibrating LG TVs, you know, um, with Calvin Home for LG. So... Lots of lots of cool stuff going on, but all I can do is like, I mean, Color Space has been out forever. Calvin has been out forever, y'all. I'm not breaking any news here. So I just thought that was funny. And just a quick aside that that I, like I said, a realization I had, man. I'm, I'm going to be nothing but reactionary. Uh, and I hope that's okay. And I hope the comments section continues to just be ablaze with all kinds of great information. So I'm going to wait here patiently. And I am going to wait for FedEx because I have some more um, playing to do with color space. I'm right now. I've gotten um, my device control up, uh, been able to uh, hook to the display. Um, I'm I haven't profiled yet, but I'm getting close. Anyway, super fun, all excited, and I'm sure I'm going to have a lot more other stuff to stay say. So uh, I'm going to wrap a medium-sized bow on this one, and um, any questions or comments, good, bad, or different, if you have them, go ahead and leave them below. They are greatly encouraged uh, and greatly appreciated. Yeah, they only help the community to grow, get smarter, thus making us stronger and smarter. All right. You know what time it is. As always, thank you for listening. Be good. Be safe. Boom.